In this project in the Talmud Sebel, we're not using computer vision at all. We have input from sensor data like GPS, wind direction, and, and the magnetometer telling us where the boat is heading. And so we're using sensor data to make autonomous decisions. I think the biggest aspect of this project is the electrical engineering and the navigation. Building a boat is one thing, but the algorithm that we've been developing over this semester can pretty much take the boat from one position and go to any, any other position in any wind conditions. The motivation behind our project is to be able to deliver cargo without putting humans in danger. For the build, we have a catamaran design, which is the two holes, and this allows for more stability compared to other designs of like autonomous vessels that only have one hole. It also allows us to have space to carry all our cargo and also have the electronics within it. On the back, we have the rudder, and the rudder actually is what is directing and turning the boat in the water. One of the things we do is we utilize a free rotating sail design. We just have a small wind vane at the back of our sail, and it's the only part of it that's controlled. Now, by changing that small wind vane, because it's farther back and has a lot of torque, it allows us to rotate the entire sail with very, very little force on the motor. And so it's really energy efficient, and it allows us to travel really long distances with the boat. The hardest thing was figuring out tacking. That's sailing directly into the wind, and to do that, the boat has to recreate a representation of its environment by taking in data from a wind vane, which is a wind direction sensor, a magnetometer, which is a digital compass, a GPS, among other things, and it can figure out a way to cut across the wind back and forth such that it's not sailing directly into the wind. The first stage in the pipeline is uses a module called Sea Route, which takes any two points on the ocean and connects a path that doesn't cross any bodies of land. And then from there, the navigation computer computes the best way to get to the first waypoint along that path. And then it passes that waypoint to the autonomy computer that controls the sensor data and the actuators. And then it says, go to that waypoint, and once you've reached that waypoint, I'll tell you where to go next. And then that continues until it get, reaches its final waypoint.